During our volunteering period, we met a precious person in Lao. It was the Buddhist day in Lao. We borrowed Lao traditional dresses for this day from our colleague Malawan. After the event, we knew a surprising thing. Clothes that we borrowed were made by Malawan's uncle. Actually, he is a tour guide and also a designer for making Lao dress. After that day, we met Mr. Tipasson to know how he makes a beautiful traditional dress, and we knew some interesting story of one man in Lao. He has learned how to do sewing from his sister when he was 10 years old. When he became 17 years old, he came to Vientiane, the capital city of Lao. Then he decided to learn English, so he went to college to learn English. He became a tour guide after graduation. It was 1992. In that time, as a tour guide, he met a Japanese designer. The Japanese suggested him to learn more about making more difficult clothes. After that, he decided to learn how to make the clothes more deeply. He studied for three months. Sometimes he had to absent the class because of guiding work. Finally, he opened a shop in 2013. This is the line to sewing after I roll it by this one. And it's a part in front part to put it here. Okay, I will show you. Yeah. In front part for the women. <laughs> it's not that me, right? <laughs> I will mix with another color, the red one here. Another piece, another piece connect to the side. Oh. You learn sewing? Yeah, make, oh. make a pattern, but sewing I learned from my sister. Ah, pattern? Uh, I'm pattern like this one. Oh. I learned from Japanese. Oh. We can change it to be many different style of the, the blouse. Mm. In a different pattern, if you have uh, the same size. Also, Mr. Chipasong is trying his best to preserve the Lao culture. But traditional custom like this, for me, I love it. I don't know why. <laughs> they are very own. <laughs> I love this, but I try to teach the young generation how to preserve the culture. If you want to tell another one without um, talking or something, keep silent, but your dress can show to yeah. the point that you are Lao. Lastly, he told us about giving culture in Lao. Give and take. We work eight hours, but we learn to give and take only. Oh. <laughs> Lao people learn to give first. Give yeah. first. Yeah. Oh. And then take, make sure that offering and taking people both are very happy. Not just thinking about, what are you giving? That's very bad. Oh. <laughs> but don't forget, mom, mom get up. Give, give, uh, give us first. Oh. But you are giving to your family by making clothes. Yeah. Right. And you preserve mm -hmm. your own culture mm -hmm. for a young generation. At first, I just uh, feel no more with the culture. But when I work as Tokai, I learn about the region, I learn about the culture. Mm. Make me uh, a little bit serious to teach my nephew, my niece here. Mm. And then the culture, I made it. Like a clothes, the tree is no clothes. I love it oh. after that. <laughs> but normally, it's mom, grandma teach me, taught me very well about it, the, the culture oh. because they, they made it before. Mm. But in my family, it's only my one older sister and myself can do this one. Oh. Also, he is still looking after his nephews in Vientiane by having two jobs. In addition, he is supporting Lao people to remember their culture through making clothes. His life shows us what is giving and makes us to reflect our lives. <laughs>